Good morning. This is Ozark's Fox AM. You know what? It is a good morning. It is. It's a good, it's a good morning. morning for friends. It sure is. Welcome to Ozark's Fox AM on this thankful Thursday, because I'm thankful Beth Ray is here Aww. with me today. I'm thankful for you, and I'm so thankful you're doing so great. <gasps> he is unstoppable. I tell you what, Beth, I need you to just mm -hmm. walk around with me all day long. Well, just, he really is. I just need my best friend just walking around with me. Yep, yep. You, you, you got give this. give you all the pep talks this. you need. That's right. Yeah, I was feeling in. I hadn't seen Beth in a couple weeks, but I was filling her in on everything that had happened over the last, you know, yeah. two weeks. And, and you know, it's the sort of conversation where you ask your friend how you're doing, and then they lay <laughs> the things that he, and he, he's like, how are you? And I'm like, I don't have anything to it's say. Like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I got a coupon a couple days oh, ago. Good for I don't you. really. Yeah. Hope anyway. You saved a lot. Oh, well, you know. Hope and, you did. Anything's helpful nowadays. <laughs> it's so true. You know. Oh, I, I know. know. <laughs> I love. It. I've always been. You know. I used to say, "Oh, I'm so I'm cheap. I'm cheap." And they said, "No, say frugal because it sounds better. I'm just thrifty with money." You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm and frugal. The, and the thing is, nobody knows. Nobody can tell oh. a difference. Well, you know. My whole thing too is like even doing DIY and renovations. You're trying to get that million dollar look. Right. For pennies, you know. Yes. My mom has always told me that I have champagne taste on a beer budget. Yes. <laughs> Do you know the first infomercial? And Jesse knows that and agrees with that. <laughs> the first infomercial I ever did was I was asked to fly, like, that was not in Missouri. I had to fly to New York, but it was one of those things that I was like, I didn't have the money in my account to buy the ticket. Yeah. yeah to yeah. get me, and I would once I got paid, but it was like, how do you? Or, you know, but then it starts kind of covering itself and you and get okay, but I totally get place, it. Eventually. Speaking of million dollar look, so this guy never really tells me what we're gonna wear exactly. The first time I hosted, you were like, I'm wearing blue. I'm yeah. like, got it. After that, we've just left never, it up to no. synergy and just hoped <laughs> that we worked it out just somehow. But yesterday you gave me a great tip. You said, I'm wearing fun pants. I, well, yes. And I was like, got it, okay, yeah, I know exactly. I'll just show exactly. you my fun pants. And they really are. There's a reason so. for these fun <laughs> pants, guys. There's a reason. Um, they're, here's the thing. Um, we have our friends from the Shrine coming up, Ooh. and they're bringing in two little mini putt-putt golf things. <laughs> oh. My kids are so jealous. So to me, I these care. remind me. Don't they remind you of golf pants? Can you guys see these? They're so see. great. They really do I don't look. know how they read on camera, though. But do they read? Oh, they read. They are golfy. Do they read? Golfy. I can't see that far away. And those socks they read. are just fantastic. See, some floral socks. With yeah. The plaid. It reminds me of now. This made our viewers will know. Jesse Inman may not know. Jennifer Abreu may not know. These remind me of Bob Hope. Totally. Like oh. when he'd be out hitting the greens in the yeah. 50s with like Lucy mm -hmm. and Desi and. I, I picked right. him. Right. You're just missing your derby cap and you got it. By the way, our friends from the Shrine are bringing us golf hats. <gasps> Gosh. We love you, Shrine. So, Thank uh, you. Paula, so Mason, Paula Mason and Sarah Watson, who were here Monday, they had this thing coming up at the Shrine this weekend called Putt Putt Your Way Through the Shrine Mosque. But it's putt putt like you've never seen. One of them is like you're putting a bowling ball to hit bowling pins. Oh. Awesome. One of them, Jesse, you would love. You remember our, as little boys, we had the little race cars and it had the track? Oh, of course. Hot wheels. You have to hit the ball on the racetrack. That's impressive. Oh, how I fun. How fun. That is fun. That is super cool. What a great idea. Yeah, so they're Very bringing creative. they're bringing two, and we're playing it like at 7:30. So you gotta stick around. Uh, so they said, I said, well, I'm gonna wear my little golf pants, if you will. I just put this is my. I just put cute little like cute, cute little shoes on. Those are adorable. Because I yeah, yeah, that was my that was all. I looked in my closet. And I'm like golf. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh, but I put too. on those cute shoes. Sorry. The other thing this reminds me of is the Golden Girls, because the Golden Girls dressed up as men and and snuck into the men's locker room at a country club to try to find Bob Hope. That's oh where it all came word. back to. Oh, Wow. Yes, and, and, and uh, so many connections. Rose, um, Betty White, was wearing these plaid pants up to her, like, her. <laughs> Great. That's it where we all want to wear them. It's right It'd up be to so here. much more comfortable, but we it just would. don't. Because it's not the million dollar look. By the way, I've heard mom jeans are back, though. They are, but have you ever looked at the back of the big mom have. jeans? I have. Saturday Night Live. They shouldn't be back. They did the best sketch of that in it. the 90s about mom jeans. They did. Amazing. But I see all these young girls wearing the very high-waisted jeans now, and I'm like, the mom jeans are back. I can't get on the train. I'm going to let them take it. You take, take it. that train, girls. Take you go. the train. Go. Yeah. Um, I, dare I ask Jesse and Jen what they feel about the new, um, well, the the trend that's back again, the mom mm. jeans. Have you seen that? I love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. I bet you look so cute. You look cute, Jen, though. I, uh, I love it. I'm, I'm wearing jorts. Bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Bring them back, Jesse. Back those jorts. I the, love jorts. The mid-rise yeah. is OK. High-rise is best. There's super high-rise as well, which is oh. also, also Could you great. wear some for us oh. someday? Yeah. <gasps> I would love to see it. <laughs> that is that's so a, No, I bet you look cute, I though. Do, I, I'm sure. You know what else is back to the, um, 
bell bottoms. Mm. What are they called? There's oh, another yeah. name for it. The, oh, those the are bad. Flare. Flare. Yeah, the flare. The flare. That's, the flare. Yeah, flare. Yeah. That's back to, I don't I know. I love them. You do? I have, like, I think they look cool um, on some styles, like, depending on the shirt that you wear and stuff, but I still haven't bought myself any. Mm. Do it. Um, back in the day, I used to. Now, it's also, like, the... Um, Skinny jeans are, you know, a thing of the past, apparently. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. no. I know, I oh, still no. I still, yeah. I still have some. I just what am I supposed to bought do? some. Yeah, yeah. But the, the loose, you know, the straight, like, boyfriend jeans or the straight legs yes. also. I love right those. Now. No, I love those. those. Are, yeah, I like those, too. But you know who can't wear mom jeans? What? Moms. Moms. Young people can't, but we can't, <laughs> we can't, can't pull it off. Yes. Moms can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Natalie agrees. Yeah. Jesse, do you want to wear jorts with me someday? I wouldn't mind. No. That's all that. I used to wear at church camp in the summertime yeah, was the jean shorts, the jorts. Oh. Jorts with the high white socks yes. on. Yes. And oh. you just tan lines are out of control. Yeah. <laughs> that's a dad look. That's a dad look. Yeah. Mom, mom jeans and the dad jorts. And the mm -hmm. Jorts. And then if we could just throw a fanny pack in there, we're set. Oh, that's I it. I think so. That's it. Gosh, Gosh I love guys. the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Sorry, guys, we digress. You know how we are around here. No, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Hey, we hey. love it. <laughs> fashion talk. We're here for it. We're here yeah, for it. Are. We do have some fashion talk as our second headline. Okay. First, oh. this headline here, which is why I may need to wear jorts. Uh, you've heard of Super Size Me, the movie? Okay, so yeah. there's a guy trying something sort of like that, but it's like half size me. All right, so he's on TikTok. This is Kevin McGinnis from Nashville, Tennessee. He's eating nothing but McDonald's for 100 days, but he has hopes of losing weight. He says he's already lost 10 pounds in the first 10 days. Now, he only eats half of each meal he gets at a time and saves the other half for later. So a little frugal, as we discussed earlier with this. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, uh, I'm going to have to follow this guy. I, I don't follow him right now, but I'm going to have to follow him and check out his journey. Maybe, I don't know, it's an interesting way to go about weight loss, but... We'll see what happens. So I'm sure. Well, it's all about portion control mm. for him. Right. Finally, a diet is what it's I can about. get on board with. Right. This is a diet I want to try. Right. But it'd be hard to stop at two chicken nuggets, I gotta say. <laughs> exactly. I, that'd be hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. It, up, well, please. and right. I love, like, my favorite sandwiches are just, just the McDouble. Mm. It would be mm. very hard not to eat that whole McDouble. Mm. Right. It would be. It's You'd so have to put it in a bag, seal it, tip it, just put it away. Right. Mm. Yeah. That'd be that'd be hard. Yeah, that's the, the pies though. and McFlurry. But good luck to him and yeah. his cholesterol levels. <laughs> I'm right. hopeful. We're rooting for you. Yeah, we are, man. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> yep. Got this, man. 100 days. It's going to be a familiar face there. Okay, yeah. well, I'm going to have to check try back to find in. Him. Yeah, we'll yeah. have to put it on the calendar so you oh. give us an update in, <laughs> yes. a few, in a few weeks. Yes. Uh, okay. 90 more days, so. We were talking about fashion and shoes. I want to show you guys these shoes. This is the perfect her conversation to have right now as we talk about fashion. Crocs and Hello Kitty, they are partnering on this new item they say represents inclusiveness, kindness, and friendship. It comes with images of Hello Kitty and friends. They range from 45 to Bless $60. You. you can personalize them with the clogs. <laughs> Bless you, Natalie. Zoom <laughs> uh, <I'm> tight. <laughs> <laughs> the clogs cost about twenty to twenty-five dollars, and uh, they're available on Crocs website if you want to purchase them. I love Crocs. the the photo op they did; it's so cute. It is cute. That the is. shoes are so cute. Um, I like push. it. There are so many, um, like you know how we were talking about Disney adults who love Disney. There's a lot of people who love Hello Kitty. Like yeah. that's their like their yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So I bet they're loving this. And I've seen Crocs with like decorated, and I do love that because it looks. Crazy psycho, and what I think that's called? fun. Little jib, jib, giblets, giblets. Oh, is that what oh, they're yes. called? I don't know the name. I think gibbet. I giblets. think that's what it is. is that giblets right? is. I think y'all did a story on right, that. It's not giblets. It's like part of a Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. Wrong thing. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You know. You know. My I have the my house on on two exterior doors. I have imitation Crocs that are my yard shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I don't okay. want to get expensive Crocs for yard shoes, so I get right. the imitation, and then that's why I take my dogs out, just throw on the. Imitation yeah. Crocs. Yeah. Go in the yard. Yeah. Rinse those puppies off. You're yeah. good to go. Yeah. That's true. That's Crazy. smart. Oh, they are comfortable. Those are perfect for yard. Just walking in the yard. Yard work. With the dogs. Yep. I like those. Are cute. Natalie, do you have any? Um, do you like Hello Kitty? Or do you have anything that you collect that you love? That if you saw it, you'd be like, I have to get that. No. I want. Natalie is an earrings person. She has all kinds yeah. of fun earrings. I do have a lot of earrings. 
But like I, I'm, I'm thrifty as well, so yes. it really has to be the right place. Guys, I am so sorry. I thought my mic was off. I thought I was sneezing in privacy. <laughs> I have oh. a bone to pick with spring right now because oh, my man. allergies are not doing Girl, well. Girl, yes. <laughs>